Larkin, we need to have a talk. The industry needs to have a talk, and we need to be honest with ourselves. It's about the driver shortage. Is there a driver shortage or not? Well, it sort of depends on which side of the issue you're coming from. If you're a company with a lot of extra trucks, and you're having trouble finding qualified professional drivers to put in the seats, you'll probably convince them there's a driver shortage. If you're a truck driver, you're out on the road, sitting at a dock, not getting paid for it, or sitting and waiting for a load and not getting paid for it, well, you're going to be pretty hard to convince if there's a driver shortage. So it really depends on which side of the fence you have to be standing on. Now, we need to figure some things out. The, it's not that we don't track enough new people in the industry. We do. The problem really is, and always has been, that we don't keep them. Um, we need to figure out a way to get drivers through that first year. Now, if we can do that, then maybe they can learn the ropes a little bit, become professional drivers, and, and make this as a, a career. And we do have an, an issue that we we need to face. The driving force is aging. The average driver out there is about 52 years old. And this is an industry that isn't necessarily good for your health. So a lot of those drivers aren't going to be working until they're 62 or they're 65. We need to figure out a way that once we get drivers in the industry, we keep them healthy. That might be just not working them so much. Maybe we need to get them out there and, and get them an exercise program. And part of it falls to the drivers, let's be honest. We, we could do better taking care of ourselves, either taking a walk every day or maybe stepping away from the buffet or taking the salad instead of that uh, fried chicken. So that, but we need to be honest with ourselves. Now, I've been seeing this meme on Facebook lately. You know, it's a couple classic trucks and it's kind of cool and kind of funny. The, the trucking isn't just a job, it's my life. But trucking isn't just a job, it's a profession. And it certainly isn't my life. Um, I'd rather be here on the boat than driving my new Cascadia. As much as I really like my new Cascadia, and it's really nice compared to every truck I've ever driven before. But we, we as an industry need to figure out a way once we get drivers attracted to the industry, we keep them. We need to keep them happy, we need to keep them healthy, we need to pay them well, and we need to treat them as professionals. Thank you.